name of God, Elohim. The name Elohim is a Hebrew word used in the Bible to refer to God. It is one of the most commonly used names for God in the Old Testament. The exact meaning of the name Elohim is a topic of theological and scholarly discussion. In Hebrew, Elohim is a plural noun, but it is often used in a singular sense when referring to the God of Israel. In the beginning, God, Elohim, created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1. Hebrew meaning of Elohim. Elohim means God or gods, depending on the verbs around it. Hebrew verbs change to indicate how many subjects the verb is referring to. When Elohim is used as a name of God, the verbs around it are singular. When it refers to members of the divine council or angelic realm, it will typically be surrounded by plural verbs. Genesis 1 exclusively uses the name Elohim to refer to God, whereas chapters 2 and 3 use the name Yahweh. Yahweh is God's personal, covenantal name, whereas Elohim refers to God more generally. When other nations mention God's judgment upon Egypt, they refer to God as Yahweh. Another example comes from Genesis 35, where Jacob builds an altar and calls it El Elo Israel. This means the God of Israel is God. This passage comes at the end of a tense encounter with his estranged brother Esau. Jacob chose to worship God and make an altar proclaiming his faith in the new identity God had given him as they wrestled. What does the Old Testament say about Elohim? Elohim appears in the Hebrew Bible over 2,500 times, most of which refer to the Yahweh, the God of Israel. Elohim appears in some of the most important passages to the Hebrews. These are the Shema and the Ten Commandments. Orthodox Jews recite Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 to 5, also known as the Shema, twice daily. This prayer forms the core of the Jewish faith. The Shema says, Hear O Israel, the Yahweh our God, Elohim, the Yahweh is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. This shows that Yahweh is the one Elohim, the one God. This points to the idea that God is both strong and compassionate. It also promotes absolute monotheism, He is the only God. What did Jesus say about Elohim? Jesus quotes a passage containing the word Elohim in the original Hebrew but interprets it differently than its typical usage. In Psalm 82, Elohim refers to the assembly of gods or other divine beings. Pharisees in Jesus' day interpreted the gods to be human rulers carrying out God's work of judgment on the earth. Jesus used this line of thinking to prove a point and diminish the charge of blasphemy from the Pharisees. He points out the hypocrisy by showing them their own scriptures refer to humans as gods, so Jesus' claim of divinity is not as pronounced. The other place Jesus uses the word Elohim is in Mark 15 verse 34, where he says, Aloy Aloy Lama Sabachthani. Aloy is the Aramaic form of Elohim. Jesus likely referred to Elohim in his prayers to his Father. Some interpretations and explanations of the name Elohim include. 1. Majesty and Plenitude some scholars suggest that the plural form Elohim may emphasize the majesty and greatness of God. The plural form could be seen as a way of expressing the abundance of God's attributes, power, and sovereignty. 2. Triune God In Christian theology, Elohim is sometimes seen as an early indication of the triune nature of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. While this interpretation is more specific to Christian theology, it recognizes the plural nature of the name. 3. Generic term for deity, Elohim is also used in the Bible to refer to pagan gods and divine beings. In this context, it serves as a generic term for deity. When used for the God of Israel, it signifies the unique and true God. 4. A singular plural. Some scholars propose that Elohim is a plural form used in a singular sense, 
perhaps as a form of honor or to convey God's transcendence. In this view, it emphasizes the idea of a singular, all-powerful deity. The precise meaning of Elohim can vary depending on the theological tradition, and it has been the subject of extensive discussion and interpretation over centuries. It's important to note that understanding the name Elohim is closely tied to the Hebrew Bible's broader theological and cultural context and the monotheistic beliefs of Judaism and Christianity. Elohim is the name of the Holy One, blessed be He, when He exercises retribution, as it is written, Then the earth shook and quaked, the foundations of heaven trembled, they shook when He was angry, Psalms 18 verse 8. What do biblical scholars believe about Elohim? One theory that gained popularity in the late 1800s was the belief that different authors wrote passages of the Old Testament that used the word Elohim than the sections that mention Yahweh. The documentary hypothesis grew from the belief that various sources edited the biblical text, particularly the Torah, over time. The four sources, Y-A-H-W-E Hist, Elohist, Priestly, and Deuteronomist, represent the supposed authors of those portions of the text. In this perspective, the Elohist source originated in the Northern Kingdom of Israel in the 8th and 9th centuries BC. However, this theory fails to consider that most of the Torah was preserved and recovered by the Southern Kingdom of Judah. The Assyrians ransacked the northern kingdom of Judah and intermarried their people with foreigners. That's where the Samaritans came from. Their manuscripts likely would have been lost during this time. The Samaritans had the Torah, but it had been modified to align more closely with their practices of worship, John 4. From this perspective, it makes sense that Genesis 1 only mentions Elohim rather than Yahweh. Genesis 1 made a compelling argument to the surrounding nations by asserting that only one God was responsible for all creation. Like other pantheons, the ancient Near East societies had many gods for different elements. Genesis 1 argues that one Elohim created everything rather than many Elohim. The verb forms show this because they are singular rather than plural. The one exception is Genesis 1 verse 26, where God refers to himself in the plural, and the verb forms reflect that. Some scholars believe the Elohim in this verse refers to the divine counsel. Thank you for watching the full video. Like share and subscribe. Comment your opinion. Be blessed.